guys, so I recently talked about the Mr. Beast Rosanna Pensino situation and there have been some updates um, but it's still a little bit on the complicated side of things and people have many different opinions it just depending on who you talk to really what they think about Rosanna, what they think about Mr. Beast sometimes it's not biased, sometimes it is biased like with most things on the internet but if you want to know more what is that noise? Phoebe, come here you're hitting your tail on the tripod come here mm-hmm oh Oh my goodness, that's a little baby. You stay right here. No, there's no need to panic. Muffin, stay here. Yep, down. Thank you. And I've lost where I was now. But if you want to know more, let's just keep on watching. Subscribe to the bell icon for engagement. And let's just get into it. You little gremlin. I'm being attacked. Excuse me, missy. What you doing? So let's do a quick recap of what's been happening. Um, then I might even get into your guys' reactions. You guys left quite a few comments about what you think about it. And most of it seemed to be on Rosanna's side. But some of you guys seem to be on um, Mr. Beast's side. I feel like most of it is Rosanna's side. Down. Oh my God. Phoebe, stop. Come on. Lie down here. Lie down here. Yep. No, not on me. Not on the iPad. iPad. On, on the beanbag. Stop it right now. Stop it right now. I'm gonna shove myself back in here. Okay. Being a mother requires so much patience. Phew. Um, I'm just gonna quickly address what happened. So Mr. Beast did his creator clash um, number three, which was a hide and seek for a million dollars. The million dollars, because it was YouTubers playing, YouTubers tend to be rich, mainly when they're friends with Mr. Beast or invited to these things. They don't need the million dollars. The million dollars was given to them so they can give it back to their community. So it'd be fans, like giveaways and stuff like that, right? Million dollars is pretty life-changing for most of these people's communities. So it'd obviously be fantastic. Everyone wants to win it for their community. Rosanna finished fourth, but actually allegedly she finished third, which wasn't acknowledged. And she feels like she was being silenced. Now, since then we have found out that she did sign an NDA, which was obviously stopping her from talking about this, but the NDA is still valid. So she's speaking out against the NDA. And the whole thing started because she went on the Just Trish podcast to talk about the whole thing, where she addressed kind of what happened, what the situation is with Mr. B. She was trying to be quite nice, but that's kind of how it started. And then she put out a statement on Instagram and Twitter. And she said that she participated in Creator Games 1 and 2 and was excited to be part of YouTube's Creator Games 3. And this was actually done in collaboration with YouTube. So it's kind of like a YouTube premium show, which is the hide and seek. So she says in the first paragraph, paragraph that she had placed third and when the video was released she was shocked and disappointed and felt really hurt because Jimmy, Mr. Beast, had edited the video to look like she had performed worse than she did and she kind of was upset because he always makes it seem like his videos are quite authentic and real and he edited a video to look like the final three people were Lorray, Logan Paul and Zach King and the final three people were actually Zach Quackity and herself so both Quackity and her were edited out for the entire duration of filming they all wore earpieces so they could kind of hear what was going on and who was getting disqualified so and they all said to move around so if you stayed sat in the same spot you'd get disqualified anyway which is what happened to Lorray. he fell asleep in one spot and he didn't move which would have made him disqualified but instead he ended up placing third so she was found they even offered her money to come out of hiding and quit but she declined it and then they did find her moving from one spot to another but when she came up she realized that Lorraine had fallen asleep and was disqualified and then she kind of assumed that she was going to be third now because he was third she was fourth whoever was found obviously starts being the seeker so Mr. Beast had asked you know who wants to follow me to look for other people and she said I'll do it but he said no I'll take Logan with me and they went off I do wonder if maybe he thought that Logan would make for a better kind of I don't know, performance. Like, obviously whoever he was taking with him was playing like main character with Jimmy. So maybe he didn't want it to be Rosanna subconsciously. Maybe he was like, oh, this just won't make for good, good videos. Maybe he, he, he doesn't feel as close to her. So he's like, I can't like joke back and forth with her as much as I can with Logan Paul. Or maybe he just thought Logan Paul was going to be um, a better kind of clickbaity choice to have at the end of the video. Who knows? So she placed third, Quackity placed second, Zach placed first is the actual official kind of what happened. But what obviously Jimmy showed was completely different. And despite Jimmy editing out the only female in the top three, I was pr proud of what I had achieved. Now people are focusing on the only female because yep, she was the only female in the top three. But then people are saying, you know, this can't really be sexism because he also edited out Quackity, who is obviously a male. So this probably isn't a female male thing. Uh, some people are saying that they feel like whenever they work with uh, Mr. Beast, it feels like a boys club and that women kind of feel a bit excluded, but that obviously is a separate kind of thing. Maybe it is all for optics, like whoever makes the best performance. So Quackity is an international YouTuber. Maybe Jimmy feels like the audience isn't an overlap. So he felt like maybe it would just be better if 
it's kind of Logan Paul, Zach King, and Lorray instead of Quackity, Rosanna, and Zach. Because then he maybe feels like two or three of the people aren't really who he wants as the main topic of the video, which obviously sucks, but it could also be a non-discriminatory thing, more so just like a business thing. Uh, because people are also saying, you know, this can't really be sexism because in his last competition that he did, um, Charlie D'Amelio and Dixie D'Amelio won, which obviously shows that he does allow women to win when they win. And even they were called out for cheating. So that would have been a great reason to disqualify them and have someone else win. But they were at the top of their game at the time. Like TikTok was just popping off. They were getting millions of views. So it was obviously a great financial and business decision to have them win and be the focus of the competition whereas this time around you know Logan Paul just has prime he's done boxing events he's done some massive events I feel like Logan Paul's a, a great kind of main person to focus on a focal point in the video rather than Rosanna Pincino who's been more kind of low-key less in the limelight she just does tv stuff and then um her youtube channel so there's definitely kind of maybe a business aspect of this that I've been hearing in my comment section um now after this she could have tweeted about this multiple times we had the text messages that came out that's all in my last video if you guys want to see it um and she did say, she kind of deleted everything and then said, I would like to apologize to Mr. Beast. I should have expressed my feelings privately and handled things directly. I'll be removing all the posts where I talk about creator games and Jimmy. I'll be honest in that the thousands of death threats I've received today are a contributing factor, but I do also sincerely hear the feedback from so many of you. And people think, is this Jimmy threatening her behind the scenes in some way? Is this like a legal aspect of things? You know, she did sign an NDA that typically stops you from speaking out. Um, or it should at least. Uh, so is he threatening legal action? Or did she just decide that it's not as big of a deal as she was making it out to be? Now, that was that. People then in behind the scenes, and I very briefly want to touch on this, just because it has been going around, but it's not enough for me to talk about it in full detail. There are some allegations being made behind the scenes about more serious conduct, but that is all I'm gonna say about that because I've seen no evidence and I've seen nothing, but there is talk of more serious things happening behind the scenes. So we'll kind of see where that goes, if it goes anywhere. If it doesn't, I've just kind of touched on it because that's what I've been hearing behind the scenes. But moving on, she deletes everything. She posts this. People are upset because she's posted a music video in the meantime, which makes it seem like there is promo for the music video. She has now, since then, changed her bio to be, this is peak entertainment for 2023. And this is a quote by Keemstar, who has been kind of criticizing her throughout this whole situation. Um, so she's made that her bio since then, which is obviously kind of still hinting at the situation, even though she did say she wouldn't be talking about it anymore. She also tweeted out that she's starting a new league, which YouTubers should be team owners. And it's a hide and seek league, which obviously is once again, kind of talking about the thing indirectly without talking about it. She has tweeted out, uh, this was at 10 PM. It's on the 1st of November, 2023. She tweeted out saying, I redact my apology to Mr. Beast of not settling things privately based on recent and new information and developments behind the scenes i do wonder what she's hinting at i've learned that certain issues will never be handled privately they will only be dismissed or covered up privately moving forward i do promise not to drop an ill-timed music video completely poor timing my bad and will word things more clearly in the future never my intention to downplay anyone's experiences i'm just learning to find my own voice and be a safe space for others sadly she has since deleted that tweet as well so there is definitely just like a I, I think she should kind of decide if she wants to handle things publicly or privately because now it's getting confusing and this back and forth isn't really clearing things up. It's actually muddling things up and making things more complicated and confusing. I get that maybe this is like a hard thing for her to kind of deal with because it's such a large scale situation now. Everyone's criticizing her. She's getting death threats. But I think for clarity's sake, it would be easier if there wasn't this like tweet, delete, tweet, delete because it kind of sends very mixed signals. But she did delete that and hasn't said anything since as far as I can see obviously that can change until this video is posted. Now, you guys had some takes on the last one. I'm just gonna go over all of that. So I'm just gonna go over the top comments. I felt like I, I really was um, expecting a mixed bag or I really didn't really know what to expect. So I just didn't, you know, just put it out there for you guys to talk about. But I guess the top comment on my last video. Mm. Yep, the top comment on my last video is Mr. Beast gives me Ellen vibes. If that makes sense, that would be Ellen DeGeneres. Pretends to be charitable and charismatic individual, but in reality is neither of those things. I don't know. People are saying if it's for charity, why does it matter? Well, by that logic, he could have been honest and the money would still go to charity. Also, good charitable people can do bad, dishonest things. He will make any excuse to defend him. Donating to charity doesn't make you immune to criticism. Also, masses of fans telling a woman to calm down and minimizing her experience doesn't sit right with me. It just places a hostile environment for women to be heard and taken seriously. Someone says, 
said, how is it not a big deal to be sexist? He definitely has a weird personality. I don't care how much money he donates. That doesn't mean he can't do wrong. It's so annoying that all men are told to shut up when they experience injustice. And people are saying, you know, all the backlash and death threats are so uncalled for. Someone said that this sets a pretty scary precedent that no one can speak even slightly ill of Mr. Beast, regardless of how true. Someone said, if even big YouTubers like Rosanna and Jacksepticeye can't say something slightly critical about Mr. Beast, what does that say for the rest of us slash anyone? There's a power dynamic issue in all these stories about Mr. Beast, from the cake girl to the other YouTubers. He is the biggest YouTuber and he has the biggest platform. He is also generally promising people some kind of financial compensation beyond just that exposure. So he has all the power in these relationships. Should we maybe be concerned that one guy is essentially YouTube um, and there have been issues in the past of for example people um, past employees accusing him of a toxic um, slash abusive work environment now those people have been called out for lying or saying one thing one saying oh my god I was so happy working for Mr Beast and then two years later coming out and saying oh it was toxic and abusive could they have just been lying on the first one just being like yeah I was super appreciative and then the truth is that it was toxic and abusive sure it could have also been the other way around that their career fell off after leaving Mr Beast's team and now they're trying to kind of gain some sympathy both can be true but there's definitely a, a pattern of behavior where anyone who criticizes mr beast is completely in the wrong you're not allowed to say anything bad about mr beast which i mean if people are lying that's one thing but we should be able to criticize a youtuber regardless of how massive they are and regardless of how much money they give away if that is what we feel is true now like i said people could be lying and rosanna could be making this up and that ex employee could have been making this up and the cake girl could have been making this up but there is definitely a pattern of people coming out to speak against mr beast and then being completely flooded with death threats and criticism and all sorts of things so i think we should all just be a little bit more unbiased in the sense of listen to things as they come along and don't get too personally attached to any youtuber if you're super attached to rosanna you're only going to think that she's telling the truth and if you're so attached to mr beast you're th going to think that he can't do anything wrong and that everything he does is completely okay and valid because he gives away money and because you love him so i think just having a more unbiased approach to youtube might just be a little bit more helpful but that is kind of it that's all the updates um i don't know what else she's gonna say let me just go on twitter right now as like the final check rosanna yep so that's really she's also removed the keemstar quote from her bio so um, yeah i'm not seeing much um in terms of i think she's kind of deleted everything she has liked a few kind of shady tweets um here and there but now, to do with the Jacksepticeye situation, just because I want to touch on it, um, he essentially criticized Mr. Beast's content a little bit. He was doing like a, a, a challenge video with his friends and they asked him just about just some petty questions. And he essentially just said that he's not the biggest fan of Mr. Beast's content and that he feels like it kind of ruined the platform. Kind of what I was saying in my last video where you're not actually criticizing the content, you're, you're just saying it's almost too good for the platform and then it forces other people to try to keep up and then throw money at content to make it good when the content isn't good. Whereas Mr. Beast's content is quite good. <laughs> quite good, sounds shady. Mr. Beast's content is very good and he throws money at it, whereas some people only pick the money part and then they just forget about the quality. And now when you look at Jacksepticeye and Mr. Beast on Twitter, people are saying, remember when Mr. Beast started petty drama just because Jacksepticeye said he didn't like his content. Mr. Beast has always been such a loser. For Rosanna to speak up about how much of a loser he actually is, yeah, he fucked up. Uh, remember when Jacksepticeye said that he didn't like Mr. Beast and he responded that day with like a million cryptid notes, screenshots or whatever. And Rosanna Piscino brought up a valid point of him editing her out of something and rigging it and now he's silent. And here's uh, the clip of Jacksepticeye talking about Mr. Beast. <laughs> now Jack, a completely unrelated question. <laughs> Do you like Mr. Beast? No. Oh, Jack. Oh. Do you think Mr. Beast ruined YouTube? Yes. Oh. Now in all honesty, Jack, why? Because it became more about views, money and popularity than it did about having fun. You just don't think you had fun playing Squid Games? You know that you had fun riding on yachts? If he Building had, wells if, in Africa? I don't know. If he had fun doing those videos, they'd be longer. We'd see the fun. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. I thought you were going to get me yeah. that one, didn't you? Who's the YouTuber you hate the most? I don't know. There's a lot of groomers and pedophiles on our platform. <laughs> and yeah, so this has clearly been a pattern of... of, of behavior for maybe not Mr. Beast, uh, maybe his fans, some of his fans, you know, when you have such a massive audience, there's going to be a section of your fans who behave in a not so ideal way where they don't even allow the possibility of criticism against you. And I think Mr. Beast maybe could be a little bit more careful with that, but I just don't know how you can control that many people. Um, so that's just something that we're going to have to deal with. Uh, but let me know what you guys think still now with all the updates. Um, subscribe to the like, comment for engagement, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.